right now. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, mine dames et messieurs, señores et señoras, here we go, it is game number two, it is the finals, and interestingly and unfortunately, at least for Snoot, it is the Shadow Temple with the close positions, and a lot of close positions matches were already played today. For example, Underdark was playing against Nurture and Lost, uh, we had a ZVZ close positions today. And Beastie now here at the 6 o'clock as the Yellow Terran is playing against Snooty here as the 3 o'clock at the red, as the Red Dirk, so Snooty being up 1-0. But because of the spawning positions, just Beastie should play it safe, prevent Snooty from getting a second expansion up after this hatchery first play, and then he should be in a good position, so should just go for a little bit of barracks or even a 1-1-1 bunker play. But, um... Because of the close positions, uh, it's much, much easier for Beastie to get his SCVs here at the front faster. Of course, the same goes for the Marines. So let's just see where this is going from here. There we see the drones uh, f following this SCV a little bit. Follow SCV is only going for some scouting purposes. There we see the waypoint set. And there is the spawning pool. Take a look. The spawning pool still takes another 40 seconds. Here is another SCV. And here is the first marine out. The second barracks just finished. And now uh, as soon as uh, this supply depot is finished, um, he should be able to continue uh, with a crazy marine production. Now this SCV is coming back. There we see SCV number 2 and number 3. There's the first marine going for some shoot and school, trying to take out this drone. There we see a first bunker being made and of course this bunker is a good position because now this marine is in the back. It is pretty much safe and now those drones need to take out more of those units here. The SCV is basically blocking this marine. Now we see a marine number 2 and number 3 coming up and now the drones have to follow those other marines now basically allowing this marines to protect the SCV building this bunker and take a look at all the drones dying and take a look at all this lost mining time for Snooter. so this attack really paying off big time now the SCV is gone but the bunker is finished the other SCV still running around trying to run away and here we have three marines in this bunker this bunker will most likely survive because of the SCV very soon be able to uh, just repair it and Snooter realizing he just lost too many units GGing out of the game right away with the second bunker being uh, most likely finished here in range of the hatchery a very very short game I won't comment on it too much because it is basically the map, it is close positions and because of the close positions it's not like, uh, the thing is not like that oh he cannot take a third expansion that easily, it's more like the rush distances are so small that it is so easy for a Terran player just to um, go with a fast um, attack. One thing you still can say about this thing is that um, Snoot, I mean there is a possibility, it is the four players tournament, there is a possibility of this being um, a close position, it's one in a three chance, so going with the hatchery first play might not be the smartest uh, idea in that regard, so just going for a 14 pool might not be that worst of an idea in this case. Just to be safe, just in case, no need to take any risk, and building a hatchery first on Shadow Temple is actually taking a risk, because on close positions uh, the uh, the uh, rush distance from one base to another is actually smaller than, for example, like on Steps of War, if everybody still remembers uh, the most map, uh, the most uh, the map with the most QQ about it. <laughs> Beastie said, uh, Stuta said, Beastie, please surrender. I need money for food. Uh, he's so hungry. <laughs> oh, that sounds so sad. <laughs> uh. 
And um, 